Yes. Uh, welcome, everyone. This is the time we agreed to start. I recognize the presence of uh, Habib. Thank you for joining. JK, thank you for joining. Uh, tonight, we are having exchange training. Captain Milbas is my name, who is your host tonight. I'm privileged to have shared the stage with uh, Ahmed Qasim Omal. Ahmed Qasim Omal is the chief technical assistant working with uh, CTO, the chief technical officer. Ahmed Qasim, a profession mainly in networking, is an early investor, very passionate about cultural is my personal friend, as well as my role model when it comes to computer and computer skills. I'm glad to have been appointed to be the one hosting him tonight. I just want to let you know that we're going to, he's going to take us through the exchange and is a, a very good person, is the right person to take us through. I just request each and everyone to be very attentive because it's going to uh, take us through step by step as usual, but we need to get to know at the end of this session, at least everyone should be getting the point. Remember the aim of being here is to learn how to manage our accounts. Thank you so much. I take this opportunity to welcome my senior Ahmed Qasim Omar. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Captain Milbus. Um, I thought that, uh, you know, relating uh, description of myself. Um, as introduced, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Ahmed Qasim Omar. And uh, I serve in the capacity of uh, the chief technical assistant in Kashtelex. I am working under the office of uh, the chief technical officer. And uh, I am humbled and privileged to be speaking to you tonight and sharing a bit of uh, what I know uh, tonight. Um, you will... I'll just uh, start by giving a disclaimer. Unfortunately, due to bad weather, our transformer has been knocked out. So I am going to be using my my mobile phone uh, to present. So unfortunately, you won't be seeing my face. But I hope that uh, my screen sharing will be clear. So ladies and gentlemen uh, that are with us tonight, we are going to go through a part of uh, our system, uh, the Cashlex exchange, basically, that perhaps most of us are not aware of. Uh, and that is called the Cashtelex, <clears throat> that's called the Cashtelex uh, Explorer. What is the Cashtelex Explorer? Uh, Captain, can you see my screen? Yes, it's visible. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. So um, what is an explorer? An explorer in crypto or blockchain is a tool, okay, that, you know, is designed for the blockchain, okay, to, of course, capture, you know, uh, transactions or, or file transfers or to basically to capture movement of data from end to end. And uh, in the context of cash telex, it, of course, captures transactions. Uh, have you deposited BTC? Have you deposited cash telex? Have you transferred money from here to there? And this is something that most of us, you know, are not privy to. So I am going to try to keep it short and sweet uh, because my battery is, is, you know, quite low. But... Yeah, we'll start. So, of course, to access uh, the Explorer, you need, of course, to have a Cashlex account. 
uh, because if you're going to audit a transaction, then you need to have a source of the transaction. So I'm signed into one of uh, my accounts here. And uh, quickly, I'll just go to my wallet, my funds page. There we are. So, of course, my internet might be a bit slow, but please bear with me. Right. So when you come to your funds page, of course, I'm, I'd like to think that most of us here know what the funds page is. Uh, this is where, you know, you look at your different portfolios, the different currencies, as you can see, CDLX, BTC, the list is endless. However, let's say we want to, um, or we forgot a wallet was sent to, all right? Or we want just to confirm that, uh, you know, that money left our account. How do we do it? So, of course, you have, you know, your history. And uh, your history has the transaction ID. All right. When you click the transaction ID, when you click the transaction ID, it takes you to the Explorer. All right. Now, before I even go into uh, the Explorer, sorry, that transaction, let's first explore what the Explorer is on its own and how it looks. First of all, to access it, of course, if you're outside of, uh, if you're outside of the account, all you need to do is go to explorer.cashtelex.com. And what you're looking at now is, as you can see, latest transactions, and it shows a maximum of 10 entries. But if you want, you can toggle that to 100, whatever. But let's look at the different fields here. One is the block, okay? Like we said, this is to capture, you know, data transfers on the blockchain. So it shows you what block the transaction was transmitted on, all right? So as you can see, uh, to this point, as we speak, we've had over 1.2 million, uh, you know, uh, blocks of information being transferred on the Cashlex blockchain network. So that is the block, you know? So if you ever want to audit yourself, you, or if you want to record it, you say, okay, uh, my the block of my transaction was, one point one two eight seven one zero two. Okay, uh, and okay, and then the next part is the hash. Now the hash is sort of like your transaction ID, your transaction number. All right, uh, just like you'd send Airtel money or mobile money, normal transfer, uh, normal money transfer you know, applications where you get a figure, which is your transaction ID. Uh, when it comes to blockchain, we have what we call hashes. Now, like I said, the hash is your transaction ID. You can never memorize it. Please do not try to. And it's also irrelevant to try to memorize it. Uh, just know that it will always live on the blockchain. And uh, let's say you want to copy it. You can always copy it, save it in whatever application or your mail, and you can always come and just paste it in and it will be there. So that's another field. Uh, another field shows the recipients, okay? Uh, but basically it's the number of recipients, right? Now, normally the recipient is one, okay? Because it goes from one point to one other. But uh, back end, sometimes you'll find that uh, uh, when we are distributing, we make we make uh, a general distribution, and uh, for example, now the people that are going to receive uh, uh, cash telex for their real estate uh, apartments or houses, it will be you know a general distribution. So that figure might change, but this is not a problem. Uh, so that's one field. 
Another field is the amount. All right. Now, you might notice that uh, we have this amount of 5 CTLX. All right. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Now, to keep the network running, now this is just a bit on the technical side, to keep the network running, to keep our blockchain active, all right, uh, the cashless exchange, okay, uh, speaks with other, interna other external exchanges, all right, and it sends cashless to them, to that exchange, that I, the accounts in those exchanges are still ours, but basically to keep our our exchange you know uh refreshing so that you know information is up to date these transactions happen every minute and as you can see that brings us on to our next uh field which is the timestamp it shows you the date the day the month the year and of course you know the hour at which you know that happened and like I said, it happens, this transaction of five CTLX happens every five minutes. Every five, sorry, every one minute, I beg your pardon. All right. So, as you can see, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, like that. All right. Now, <clears throat> that is the exchange. Sorry, the, the explorer. I beg your pardon. And as you can see, uh, just to verify this exchange belongs to this explorer belongs to cash telex it's powered by cash telex uh, blockchain uh maybe now if we oh, sorry my screen is a bit right so up here of course you have some tabs but these are very technical uh but one of them is movement uh, movement shows, you know, transactions that have happened. We'll come back to that later. Uh, of course, the network. It sh uh, again, this is technical. It just shows uh, technical stuff. And then uh, top 100. It shows, okay, you can see, like we said, confidentiality is big here. We can look at... you know, wallets and whatnot. That's pretty much it, okay? So, I want us to go back to the account. Uh, so, as a normal Cashlex uh, user, you have, uh, you have transacted, you've sent out Cashlex. And I am going to simulate a transaction, okay, so that we see what exactly is going on. So, uh, Captain Milvers, I'm just going to stop my screen sharing for a bit. Okay. Just to, you know, access something sensitive here, but I am still on. Uh, please, uh, how is the how how are we going so far? Is it understandable? Do I need to? Yeah, very clear. We are following properly. Okay, thank you. So I am just getting, you know, one of my friendly addresses here so that we can simulate a transaction on the cash to exchange. And then, of course, view it in the Explorer. Okay, so what we are going to try to do tonight is I'm going to transfer one CTLX to my other account and um, we will be able to see how that how that is viewed on the Explorer. So I've pasted uh, my destination address. Uh, so I'm going to transfer maybe two CTLX. Two. And of course, I'll input my
I'll try 10. That was so long. So I'll try 10 CTLX. Just wait for my authenticator to reach its new code. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we've just transferred 10 CTLX to my uh, my wallet. And as you can see, we have the time, transaction ID, the fee, and the amount. Now, if we go to the Explorer and click on movement, I don't know if you can see, but 27th, oh, sorry, no, yes. Uh, I just have to go here, movement. Right. I just have to copy the transaction ID. Right. So if I click on the transaction ID, then I can see that uh, Cashlex has left and it has reached my destination address. This is the address we have sent to, as you can see, and this is the network fee. The 1.5 is the network fee and the 9.99 whatever is the, you know, the transaction so it has been affected so we have seen a few messages on you know on uh, the, on our telegram channel hey i sent uh, cash telex i don't know if it has reached the first step is for you to see if you have a transaction id if you have a transaction id then just click it and then open it in uh, in the explorer so you'll be able to verify that all right So again, you have your hash, as you can see. You have your timestamp. And then <clears throat> uh, hash flex, of course, moves in. Uh, yes, it moves as one transaction, but it's broken down. So one might ask, well, why is it seven and then four? Uh, to to guarantee that uh, these transactions move safely, it is broken down, all right, into into blocks of information. Hence the term blockchain. It's broken down, so it went in blocks of in two blocks. One was seven, another was four. Okay, it departed. So when you see red, that is a debit, and then when you see green, that is a credit. All right, and. Uh, This is what I was saying. Uh, the transaction we've just made was block 1287106. <clears throat> That's the hash. And I made a general a general uh, transaction. So as you can see, the recipients were two, all right? Why were they two? The destination wallet, and of course, uh, the network fees, okay? The basically I paid fees to the Cashlex exchange. Uh, and then the total amount of CTLX that was transferred. Okay, my 10 and then the network fees. So in a nutshell, this is the Explorer for you. It is a very handy tool uh, for verifying transactions, auditing transactions. If someone said, hey, I sent you and they're not sending you a screenshot, instead of sending you a screenshot, because screenshots can be edited, all right? Just tell them, send me the transaction ID. And if they send you the transaction ID, now let's look at that part. All right, if I was to, uh, let's say uh, the other person, uh, the other account I sent to didn't, 
you know, actually take my word for it that uh, I affected the transaction. All I have to do is go to account history. And I copy the transaction ID, copy, and then I send it to them. And uh, on their end, they will go to the Explorer, of course. And they will paste the transaction ID in this field, just up here. So you paste and you search. Oh. I beg your pardon, sorry, I just have to take off. Um... You know, it comes as a link sometimes, so you have to take off the HTTPS and only remain with the transaction ID. Okay, so after I've pasted in the transaction ID in the Explorer, as you can see, it brings you the transaction, how it was broken down, the time, and everything. So, um, I hope uh, that was clear enough. Uh, this is uh, a tool built into uh, the Cashlex exchange that you can utilize. Uh, of course, where we are going, uh, because business is about to kick off, uh, you're going to see a lot of money remittances, uh, we're going to see a lot of payments. Uh, we're going to see a lot of cash telex go uh, transactions. You can always use of the Explorer because one, it is linked to our exchange, so it is fast. The information is there. Uh, two, uh, of course, it's confidential. No one is seeing that you're looking and whatnot. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, our Chief Technical Assistant, Ahmed Omar. Thank you so much for that powerful uh, training of taking us through. Uh, I'm very sure everyone is now familiar with how we can check our, our transactions, med, verification, how can you change whether delivered or not. So, like we said, we are getting the information about the exchange for us to be able to manage our accounts, our funds and ETC. So you have seen how you can manage the transaction made, how you verify ETC. So for this case, remember in uh, today's, scenario, today's scenario, using the, the, the lock banks, the mobile money and ETC, you need to just, you need, you need to first go to the what? to the Airtel Center or MTN Center or in the bank and ETC. We to be able to verify all that. With uh, cash telex using blockchain and ETC, the new technologies, you are able to do each and everything using your phone, using your computer at home, using your fingerprint, please. Uh, thank you so much. I take this opportunity to thank everyone as a uh, uh, spare time and be with us tonight. Have been it has been a very powerful training we are expecting more because our journey is just closer our the, the, the end is just closer to all the investors of cash Alex. always tell the cash Alex community that we are just close to our to our destination so get prepared with all this information that's why we are, are sparing time and train every time every day we share the links and ETC. Why? We are preparing the community to be ready to receive. To be ready to actively participate in uh, cash uh, uh, services and others. Thank you so much. So, and we are at the end of our session. So uh, I will use this opportunity to thank our presenter for being clear to everyone and hopefully the information was clear. Please let us master those uh, techniques, those skills. You can go back in your account, try to do the same because the training is mainly want to 
impact the Catholic community members to be able to actively participate with all services and the skills using the Catholic exchange. Because it is the bank of Catholic. Yeah? It is the bank of Catholic, the bone of Catholic. All services of Catholic are linked up to the Catholic exchange. That's why we have deliberately designed program for training, particularly the Catholic investors, the benefit, the bene, the, the beneficiaries of the Catholic ecosystem. I want to uh, thank everyone, Zamzam, Nansamba, Halima, Najib, KS, JK, Haruna, Amna, Habib Kasule, our CTO, our CM, our one and only senior Ahmed Qasim Omal, who was trainer today. Thank you so much for being part of today's training. I wish you the best. Good evening. Good night. Bye-bye.